Hey, hello there. This is RGB from RJB TV, and welcome back to the channel. I was looking through the maps, the replay maps of Rabbit. Is Rabbit? Honestly, I don't cast enough Rabbit games. The games are actually really good, but he doesn't get enough love, in my opinion. He does not get enough love and praise for the skills he does have. So you know what? I felt and I thought, let's grab a replay with a Rabbit and. Against Gullsword. And Gullsword is in fact Yul. Not many players know, not many people know, but Yul is the player Gullsword. Now we just need. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, okay. The game, uh, OBS, the program I use to record, wasn't picking up StarCraft. I started to panic a little bit. Like, oh, what's going on right there? But it turns out everything is working just fine. Hope my mic is also working just fine. Hope everything is just working fine. But yeah, this is Buell from the year 2020, January 10, or maybe somewhere in those first 10 days of January. Not quite sure what the date on this replay was. This is like, um, well, by now, almost already more than two years ago. Two and a half years ago, actually. So this is, I wouldn't say old stuff, but this is, you know, old stuff between parentheses. So yeah. We've got Bill here on the Blue Terran, on the name Gullsort LMAO, a name he used while he was a semi-professional player. So yeah, this is a name he has been using for a long, long time. He kind of stopped using it recently, like maybe a year and a half ago. He started switching over to uh, Tang or to Gum, G-O-M, like he uses these names now. Gum and Tang. Gum is green for something like bear. I know that a professional player hero, the Zerg player, very good player, one of the best Zerg players currently active, uses the name Gum as well. So the same with Bjol. A lot of people use the name Bjol as well. I think Gull right here means something like honey. It's kind of like honey sword. Not sure. I mean, I've talked to Scan about it a couple times, and I think he mentioned it meaning honey sword. And I'm not quite sure if there are some implications behind that, but that's just what it what it means apparently. So we got rabbit here. Yanshiki Shunyun, that something like means the boy or something. The young boy, the young man. I'm not quite sure if it means something along those lines. Not not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to ask Scan again sometime in the near future to really get a good idea of what the name means again, because I simply forgot. He did tell me one time, but I forgot. Now a little lesson in names wasn't really informative because I honestly am just like do I remember this correctly or not but that story aside Bill who started off with a barracks first and to supply the boss into two barracks more and into a second command center is going for a pretty early rush he feels he's got the chance the opportunity to push rabbit back into his own base into the corner but rabbit is doing a pretty good job there protecting the cannon the microphone pill there is really good as always the guy semi-professional player, their micro is bonkers, it's insane, and Rabbit actually getting a- Oh, the micro there though. From both players, Rabbit is doing a pretty good job, sort of stepping forward to make microing away from the Zealot a little bit harder, but Bjol still comes out on top, kills way more Zealot than he should be able to. And there's actually a pretty nice window here on the side that this cannon does not protect, he's gonna walk right in, Zealot there, ah, Rabbit, Rabbit isn't feeling it. He knows he cannot take on all those marines, even though a couple of them are on low HP. He cannot take them on. One more on low HP. Two more Zealots are on the way, gonna be spawning very soon. No cannons in the back. Rabbit is gonna try to flank from behind. Two Zealots are spawning on the right side. He's gonna go in from the right and the left side. Gonna get a nice little flank off, and it's gonna make it impossible for those marines to micro. He finds a way to micro to the right side there, though. But the Zealots are simply on full HP, and most of the Marines were on low HP, so most of the Marines do go down, and Rabbit defends his base without really losing all that much. Lost the cannon, a couple of Zealots, and lost some spending time, because his minerals are kind of high, way higher than they should be. But Rabbit is looking fine, whereas Bjol, while he was fighting inside of Rabbit's base, built two more command centers. There's no factory there yet, there's an engineering bay there on the way, a cannon now also being built, and a couple of Marines there standing in the front to keep enemy probes and zealots from entering his base. Just you know, 
protect your base, protect your information. Don't let it fall into the wrong hands. That's the idea. This is top level clearance. Security measures are in place. Robotic support bay in the front there finishing up. You probably wanted to hide it from those marines entering the back. So we build it there in the front. Double robo there. Got a citadel of the Dunier on the way on the bottom. There's only one cannon to defend against, you know, probable tank drops or whatever. Maybe fire bats. Or you might have some triple gas. It's kind of high. Zealots are on the other side of the map doing some information gathering. See, there's no turret there yet. But does see there's two depots being built. And this one might turn into a turret. It's a bunker, actually. So up on the high ground, we've got an engineering base, so he's not getting level 1 attack. He's finally getting stim. He is currently not producing any SCVs. He's focusing on building turrets on the sides. Rabbit has got one shuttle finished up, two reavers on the way, and a stargate there being built as well. He might go for fast carriers based off of that early stargate. Maybe he's just building it to help those Corsairs get in. But I know that Rabbit, Rabbit really likes to go for a couple of drops from about the 6.30, 6.57 minute mark into the game and then go into carriers. Like, he's building the skeleton of pylons and he's probably gonna build star gates here. That's usually what he does. Drops into a very fast carrier follow-up. It's very difficult to play against those carriers at about 13 minutes into the game if you take any damage from drops. Let's see if Biol can prevent any damage from happening to his economy. He's taking some heavy shots there at the front. Doesn't have a tank with siege mode there yet in the front. He didn't even make... Oh, the tank finished up. I didn't see a tank here on the production tab on the top left corner. So I thought, ooh, he didn't even queue up a tank. But it's finished right as I looked at it. He's waiting for siege mode there, though. Loses triple depot and a bunker as well. A couple of marines went down, too. Bill is currently supply block, but a rabbit realizes a tank should be showing up anytime soon, so he smartly disengages. Got two more shoulders on the middle of the map, so that's going to be eight zealots and two reavers ready to go in and strike fear into the heart of Bill's defenses. Those marines are going to be in for a treat. One that they will not like. And here comes a surprise party. Hey, surprise, it's me, Rabbit, coming up, dropping them Reavers in your base. Zealous all alone as well. And he kills all of the Marines. Not the party, not the surprise, not the present they were hoping. We get blasts all over their faces. Because, oh boy, they got sent to the Shadow Realm. And now Zealous are throwing out those turrets. Zealous are relocating to protect the Reaver. He's got Zealous Speed finished up. Storm is on the way, they're back at home, and Shields is well in air armor. He's definitely going into carriers after a couple of drops. Yolo's being kept on his toes, not allowed to grow, not allowed to sit tight and build up and grow bigger. Reaver there getting target fired by the tanks, they're in the bag. Marines trying to kill the Reaver or the Zealous, and taking another big scarab to the face. He's drop number th two. So drop number one did a lot of damage. Drop number two is going to go in from the top side while he's going to stay here in the bottom corner and stay there to hopefully, while the drop from the top comes in, or uh, send this one in, or the other way around, send this one in first and then go in with the one from the top. Are we going to get some distraction tactics? We are not. She's going to go in from the top side there. There's no Marines in between. This one's going to arrive on the scene. going to arrive onto those SCVs. There's one Templar loading storm from very far away. How many kills did this one get? Got eight. Three more Templars in total. Pretty good storm that dodges most of the damage. Loses two more SCVs. So lost a total of ten. That still hurts at this point. At this point in the game, losing ten. Yeah, that hurts. It was like one-fifth of all of his SCVs dead and gone. So that hurts. That's really gonna hurt him. Because Biel lost a lot of Marines, lost a lot of turrets, and now losing 10 SCVs. Rabbit already on 65 probes in total. Triple Nexus, got Stargazer on the way, getting upgrades for his air as well. Level 1 attack, level 1 armor, level 1 shield. And we've got the Fleet Beacon already finished. And actually, he didn't have Zealot Speed yet. It's only just now on the way. I thought I saw those Zealots moving quick, but they weren't. I was just blind. I was just blind. I was just blind. Really, really blind. The we'll drop from the top comes in first. There are some Marines in between, sniping those shuttles out of the air. Shuttle makes it through. Shuttle unloads. Templar storms. Templar gets 
10 kills again. And here comes a drop from the bottom right. Once again, it's a double drop, double tap, double hit attack, combo, combo. Gets another 10, 11. So yeah, Biol is in a terrible, terrible position right now. And Rabbit is in the best position you can possibly imagine being in as a Protoss. Got about 50 minerals there for Biol. Oh, it's slowly getting back, but it's on 28 SCVs. Doesn't have a whole lot of units, a lot of tanks. I think about only 8 Marines and a Medic there in the back. Maybe some units inside the bunkers in the front. Well, 3 Marines, but that is kind of... Basically nothing at all. Level 1 shield there finished up. Level 1 attack, not yet. Level 1 shield, uh, armor for air also finished up. He's on 0, 1 Urkus at the moment. We've got carriers on the way. Bjol scanned it. He knows that there's a lot of stargates. You can see 6 of them in total, so he might... He might know that carriers are going to be knocking on his front door. Or, well, actually, he's just going to try to bust through the walls right here. He's not going to use the front door. Nah, Rabbit is the kind of person to just make his own door. He's going to do it here, probably on the bottom right. So Shuttle once again moves out over the middle, going to the top side of Biel's base. Biel has a couple of raids ready to intercept. Another drop there on the right. Going to fly in from the right, maybe the bottom corner, maybe a little bit higher right here over this portion, which Rabbit hasn't used yet. It's still black. Neither player has gone in from this angle. Is it a triple drop? One on the bottom right, one on the middle right, and one on the top side. He's going to go in with three drops at the same time. Can Buell defend himself against all of the units? They're going to be dropping here on the scene. One storm, two storm. Gets a lot of kills right there. I think there's more storms. One shuttle got taken down by the rates. And Buell still has 24 SCVs, but that was a tough one. That was a tough one. Got 24 SCVs, but only nine of them on the minerals. All of the others are... Spread about one there in the top, one in the front, two on the top actually, one on the right side, a couple of them on the gas. Yul is in trouble. He needs anti-air units because we've got carriers finished up here ready to fight once a couple more carriers spawn. But there's four already here and eight more on the way for a total of 12 carriers in total. Got an observatory on the way because there are in fact some raids here on the scene that might have cloak. And if you don't have cannons against Cloak, your carriers are not going to have a great time. So Rabbit is maxed out. Bill is on 83 supply, You're recovering from those drops. They're on his minerals. Got four command centers, three scans, a couple of tanks, no goliaths, and only a few raids. Carriers are building their interceptors. Fumble attack there, going to try to kill some depots. Maybe just, you know, be a little bit annoying. Might not achieve too much, might achieve a whole lot. Who knows? And it turns out he did not achieve a whole lot except killing one single depot. Another drop there coming in. It's a double drop once again. One for the bottom right, one for the middle right. And this one is going to go in unopposed. Trying to snipe it out of the air, but the Templar starts to unload. SVs are running away to save. He kills the Templar with a target fire from the tanks. Is there one more Templar in there? Nope, it is empty. It is empty. So now Rabbit is going to start building, of course, those cannons and maybe shield batteries on the side. That are going to keep those shields alive for those carriers as they do arrive on the scene with their interceptors inside. We've got Corsairs coming in as well to hunt down those raids and maybe kill a Valkyrie. It's going to be two Valkyries to defend. No Goliaths yet. Something coming. I, s I heard something dying. Not sure what it was, but we've got the carriers here on the scene ready to strike. What are the upgrades? What are the air upgrades? We've got one, one, two. He's got 322 on the way for his heirs. Also getting his ground unit upgrades from his forges right here. Got triple forge. Does he have observers here in the mix yet? There's one observer. One observer might do the trick. But he also still has those cannons on the side there to provide backup of detection against cloak rays. So 11, 13, 16. Wow, 16 Corsairs ready to join the fray and take out the Wraiths and the Valkyries are in the back. And he's going to go in. Bill is facing some real trouble. A couple more Valkyries coming in there hanging in the back, but there's simply way too many Corsairs and not enough ground units to support the Valkyries. 
against the Corsair. Dropler comes in unopposed under the protection of Care. Core Interceptors arrives on the scene, starts a storm, kills all of the SCVs with a double storm there. Covers the drop dodge path and only 10 SVs left. Buell calls GG's out. He is done for, got eliminated, destroyed. Really good Protoss performance here from Rabbit. Not so much a micro focus, but a whole lot of multitasking and clean game plan execution. Went in with numerous double to triple drops or drop into a follow up drop, the double hit, double tap combo. Just a lot of great setups and a very solid build order sticking to the plan. Carriers finished the job that the drops could not finish. So yeah, Rabbit once again shows that he is indeed a formidable 1v1 player. Out of all the formidable expert 1v1 players we are featuring on the channel. I really do want to do more Rabbit because that guy plays a whole lot of 1v1. Less micro focused, but his execution, his brain, his smarts, his experience are top notch. Absolute top level 1v1 player. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave a like, a comment, or a subscribe. Do whatever you want. Just hope to see your return for the next video sometime this week.